Guys, I'm trying again. <laughs> this is so crazy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Just tell me yes. Give me a thumbs up. I need to know. Oh, hi. Can I hear you guys? So I'm here. How are you guys doing? Where are you guys? Tell me. Oh, it's working now. Yay. Okay, guys, I had to switch phones. I have a backup phone just in case. Um, Cause I'm a mom. Hi. Oh, there's Quibi. Hi, Quibi. Okay. I'm excited to talk to you guys about Quibi, which is a new platform that's launched with some of the biggest stars, the greatest singers, some really funny people. Um, and Quibi asked me if I would talk to some other people who have shows on Quibi. And I'm really excited because there's somebody right now who has their Quibi show and they want to talk about it with me. So I'm really excited. Here we go. I'm going to try and add them. Come on, fingers crossed. This is a very exciting guest. Hi, friends. Oh my gosh, Newport Beach, Chicago. Where are you guys? Okay, I'm typing in her name. Let's see what happens. I teased this yesterday. Could you guys guess who I was gonna talk to today? I'm a big fan of this person, so let's see. Let's see if I can find them. You guys, I'm here talking about Quibi, which is a new platform. And I'm gonna wait for just a second to see if this person's gonna get on, but it's a new platform that has so many great shows on it. There's just a show with Lena Waithe about sneaker culture, which is really great. I watched that one last night. My sneaker game is not good, Lena. Just warning you, it's not good. Um, <laughs> Offset has this amazing show about cars called Skirt, Skirt, which is really fun if you like Lamborghinis and Bugattis, and he looks at all of them. Now, let me see if my friend is here to talk about her show on Quibi. Guys, I turned the whole room around again. There she is, but how do I turn it back around? Oh my gosh, there we go. What have I done? Oh my God, is this fun to watch me struggle with this? <laughs> Tennessee, are you laughing at me? There yeah. she is. No, close, close that. We're gonna open this up, guys. There she is, oh my gosh. I mean, I love this person so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi. No! I'm so excited to see you. I think I'm going to cry. How are you? First of all, just trying to figure out how to get you on this IG Live. I know. I'm no. so sorry. We've been watching. You have? Can you watch yes. me like, suspend dead air? I'm like, this is my, it's so stressful. Like, be on a talk show. I can't imagine. I need my kids to help me, too. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I know. How are your kids doing? They're good. You know, they miss their friends. Yeah. They're in virtual school, all four of them. And, you know, I put Emmy to sleep the other night, you know, like crying that she can't go to softball practice and she misses her friends and she misses school, you know, oh so God. that's, that's been, you know, tough. I feel like they're all a tiny bit depressed about it, but they're, they're doing great. They're doing awesome. They're doing good in school and you know i just adore all of them and it, it's actually really nice you, you know this you travel a lot for work and stuff like that so it's nice to be home yeah. you know and so that's kind of like the the silver lining on the cloud you know yeah of what everything that's going on um but uh yeah just enjoying just having like super quality time with them yeah that's so it's so good i know i remembered i know how to cook I just remembered. Yes. And that you like to cook. I actually like to cook. Yeah. I'm not necessarily yeah. like the best at it, but it's fun. No, whatever. You know, they eat it. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta eat. They have to eat some. That's all I got. Can't go out. You guys, if you're just joining us, I'm here talking to Jennifer and she has a show on Quibi that I really, I watched two episodes of your show last night. It's called Did you? Thanks a Million. Oh, I started to cry. I know, I know. And then I had to like, but it was a good cry. Yeah. Because it's about generosity. And tell me a little bit about your show. 
Okay, so the show's called Thanks a Million. Um, you know, Quibi, all the episodes are short, so it's like under 10 minutes. And over the course of our 10 episodes, we give away a million dollars. It starts with, uh, you know, we have a celebrity, a grateful celebrity who has a blessed life and a blessed existence, takes $100,000 and gives it to a random person that they've come across in their life or somebody they come across every day, but it's not connected to them, not a family member, not a friend, nothing like that. Just somebody who is kind to you or who touched you in some way um, that really, you know, hit an emotional core. Mm -hmm. And uh, they give, we give them $100,000. And then from there, the only caveat, the only little, you know, kind of thing is that they have to give half of it to somebody else. And then that person gives half of it to somebody else. And you kind of follow this chain of like, paying it forward and this chain of kindness right and then this domino effect of like one little act of kindness can lead to so many it's amazing and, you said uh, in the show you said gratitude has an echo effect i loved that yeah absolutely and i and i believe it does and i think in this moment um it is about being grateful for the things we have instead of always kind of like oh i can't do this or i have this sudden kind of abrupt loss of freedom that we have where we have to kind of stay in our houses is, is kind of anxiety provoking a little bit but when you take stock and you go wow I'm really grateful you start kind of being grateful for the just the small things like wow it's just such a beautiful day today and I get to sit in it or it's a uh, you know I, I have extra time with my kids or you know I get to cook again and and th that gratitude is what what fuels so many beautiful things and so many beautiful thoughts and makes you feel better, makes the people around you feel better. And when you pass that along, it, it, it just has a beautiful effect in the world. It has a real impact. And so um, this show, it was really about that. It was about creating more acts of kindness in the world and um, hopefully inspiring other people to pay it forward. Can you tell me a little bit about the other people who are on the show, the other people who are giving? Yes, oh my God, who else is that? Kevin Hart? Um, did one, you know, he went through this big accident and, uh, I, I won't give away his episode. You should guys should go watch it, but it was somebody who impacted him during that time. Um, who else? Uh, Carly Kloss is in it. Um, uh, Kristen Bell, Kristen oh, Bell, yeah. uh, who I love. Um, just a lot of celebrities who, who wanted to participate. We reached out to a few and we were like, does this sound like something you would want to do and we got such you know a positive response on it and uh and wait till you see it the, the episodes are really touching it, it's amazing it's amazing you know uh what when you when you take the time to really think about somebody outside of your own life your own little bubble yeah um what can happen it's if you're just joining us we're talking about quibi and jennifer has a show on it called thanks a million which is so inspiring and it's all about gratitude and giving back yeah. and yeah. a little i just wanted to ask you about zoe and rosalia who are the yeah. people that you give the hundred thousand dollars to yes how did zoe. you meet them well you know i was doing a concert you know i was on tour last year and so um i was doing a concert and afterwards i usually you know do a meet and greet and i meet a bunch of the fans and it's it's always one of my favorite parts of the show anyway but one night I, I met this little girl and I swear to God, she was, a, it seemed like she was an angel just sent from heaven. And uh, I don't know what it was about her. There was something about her that was so pure and so loving and so kind. And you know, uh, she, she has a disability, she's in a wheelchair. And, uh, but it, it doesn't, it, in no way stops her shine. In no way does it stop her light and, and it's just I don't know there was just something I just fell in love with her I fell in love with her and I never forgot her and you so can we tell that she and you have this connection because everything you say she says it right back to you and it was so when we did when when I finally decided they were like who do you want to give this to and they were waiting for my reply I was like I know who I want to give it to I'm just gonna wait on it I'm just gonna wait on it. and then when I find they were like really like they they couldn't believe I remembered this girl from I was like yeah I said can we find her you know I, I don't even think I remembered the mom's name I remembered her name I was like a little girl I think we were in I forgot which concert it was at you know like I was trying to remember but I just remembered her 
She's and, amazing. And I just wanted to help her in some way. And, uh, and we did. We had a connection that night. And, uh, and we went, I went back and I gave the mom thing. And, you, and you'll see the episode. Again, I don't want to give away too much. But at the yeah. same time, you know, it was very moving. It was moving for me because I love being inspired by other people. And it's funny. You never know what's going to inspire you um, yeah. or who. Yeah. And, and she, she absolutely did. Well, I, if you're just joining us, this is um, we're talking about Quibi, and Jennifer has this great show called Thanks a Million, and it's a great show to watch with your kids um, because it's about you know to whom much is given, much is expected. Yeah. I know you practice that, Alex practices that. You yeah. guys are always giving back and thinking of ways to impact your community, and um, it's really inspiring. I think if people are looking for something that's uplifting and so hopeful. I just, I watched two episodes and I cried like a baby, but happy cry. <laughs> it made me feel like people are so good in the world. A healing cry, a yeah. healing cry, right? That, that cry that is like, yes, there's goodness in the world. There's kindness in the world. There's, people are good. People are beautiful. And, and I always, I, I, this one, I think the reasons I love doing live shows, and this is, that's where I met Zoe, yeah. uh, is because I love people. I love people. That's what I miss the most right now, by the way. I know. I miss me. I miss I wish I could hug you right now, right? I know. I love people too. <laughs> and I love seeing them be happy and sing and dance and jump up and down. And that's why I love doing my live shows. And this, that's why I met Zoe. And um, I don't know. It's just Okay. One it's, of my biggest regrets is that I didn't see you in Vegas. Are you ever going to go and oh. do another? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Because I'm, I was I'm, working on Big Little Lies, and I was like, you know, I'm your yes, super fan. Yes, and Nicole came. I know Nicole, Nicole came, came one weekend. Yeah, she's, she's like, Reese, we have to go. And I was like, Nicole, I can't go. I have to shoot tomorrow. But <laughs> apparently, it was amazing. And will you ever do it again or uh, another? You know, I'm going to be touring. I'm going to be touring. I'm, you know, I, you never know. You never know. I might wind up back in Vegas doing another residency. Right now, I think I'm going to be touring the next couple of years once this all kind of gets back in order and the world gets back in order and people start going to concerts and doing things again for sure at some point next year I will be on tour and I am going to look for you I'm okay. going to send for you I'm, I'm going gonna to find make you. sure I'm going to send you tickets and you're going to have to come I'm going to buy all the tickets <laughs> I like to support my artist friends yes Yes. You have, you're so lovely about the way you share your family and, and your life. You're just so generous with people. You can tell how much you love people. You're always so sweet to me whenever I see you backstage at award shows. And um, I wonder if there's anything that you want to share with people about how you guys are getting through this time and what makes yeah. you feel like still connected to your community. Yeah. You know, it's funny, you know, Alex is the real sheriff because I was a little bit like, probably like you and uh, the other kind of people at Hollywood where I was just like, I want to give away too much. I want to keep some of it for myself and, you know, that person. And when Alex came into my life, um, he was such a kind of like filming everything. And he was so proud of me and so proud of the girls and, and, and the kids and, and Max. And he just, he just shares everything. And I was like, what's the big deal with that? It's, it's not, it's not a bad thing. You know what I mean? And so, we became more, I became a little bit more open. I think I'm still a little bit more reserved than he is. You know, he's, he loves to post every day and do that stuff. And, and I, I, I'm a little bit less, but um, I, I do like the connection that you yeah. have. And especially right now, it's like you savor it, like any interaction you can have with, you know, people, you know, it, it's, it's so valuable it's so kind of coveted right now right you like yeah. please i just want some interaction with with somebody and so um social media and all that stuff is 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 something where we feel like we're talking we're talking yeah. to them and, and we're with them and they're with us and and that feels good right now it always feels nice but it feels especially good right now you know, I think a lot about the importance of artists and creators and writers and musicians at these times. And I know a lot of us are struggling, like, how much do we want to engage, you know, because you don't want to seem like, yeah, oh, you want to be sensitive. Out. Right. Yeah. We want to be sensitive, but it's also really important to entertain people because that's, oh what, my we God, have, that's yes. what we know what to do. Like, that's all I have. Yes. My, well, my it's creative. funny. I read something on, the, on social the other day that said something like, 
remember that when you know all, everything went down you turned to music you turned to books you turned to the artists you yeah. know what i mean because that's what we do we do it too even though we're artists we're looking at our, our we're listening to our favorite musicians we're reading books we're trying to find you know some entertainment some kind of escape yeah right from this moment and i think um that that is actually something i'm proud of that you know i want to be creative in this moment i want to share in this moment and i think that is that is our part we should be doing that right now we for sure and you see yeah. how important that is that we take notes and remember this time and that we help people get through it and <laughs> And that people yeah. get to share and express themselves. If, if you're just joining yeah. us, we're talking about Jennifer's show. Thanks a million. It's on Quibi. I'm pretending to be a talk show host. <laughs> you are the talk show host. You have a show on Quibi too. I do. All about the animals and the women doing it. It's how you tell us about your show. Let's, my let's... show's sweet. Oh. Well, thank you, JLo. I was wondering if you were going to ask. Um, my show is called Fierce Queens. And Love. it is all about the female of species. It's 10 episodes. It talks about all these incredibly strong women in, in their species and how they're dominant over their communities or whatever, you know, um, yeah. there's cheetahs, there's hyenas, there's spiders. And it's, it's actually fun to watch with your kids too. Um, oh my God. My son is going to love footage. that. Yeah. Well, because that we, were, we were watching, we were literally online the other day looking at like the top 20 list of like the most fierce animals or the most like dangerous animals. And we were like naming each other. And like, I was a, a panther and <laughs> Emmy was a honey badger and Alex was the gorilla, <laughs> the big gorilla. Like we were just, we're fascinated with all that stuff. So um, that's going to be great. I love that. And also you think about like a queen bee or queen, that always like fascinates me. Oh yeah. Like how she's, she's they just like ruthless. The bigger, like, you know, kind of uh dinosaur like insects who yeah. gathers all these other insects. I've seen this. You know what I mean? I remember like one time we might pull this random story. Just because we have nothing else to do. Well, let's, let's talk. talk about it. I had there was a, a a huge like ant fly thing, and I was like, what is that thing? And then you saw all these other like little little uh, ants or flies, I can't remember what it was, and they just were all dying with her. She was dead, and they all just killed themselves with her. Like, because oh she died. The queen died, and so they're like, we shall die too. And that was it. And I, I, you guys should do an episode on that. that we should. We should. Hey, I have yes, to tell you, yes. my brother taught me this amazing thing, that if you find something in your yard, or you're on a nature walk, and you don't know what an animal or an insect is, there's this thing, if you go on the Google app and you push the little square, it's called Google Lens, and take a picture of it, it will tell you what kind of plant it is, what kind of insect oh, it wow. is. Oh, wow. It's amazing. It's almost like Shazam with music. You Shazam. Yeah. 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 And it takes you it off a picture. <laughs> it can tell you if that's a dangerous spider or a snake. or It was crazy. It's totally changed. But I know if something's poison ivy or not, which is crazy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's this helpful. is a very valuable tip. Thank you, Google. There, somebody just said online, they're like, there's a door opening and closing behind you. I know that's, that's our, um, it, it's a bathroom. I don't know. It just swings open and close all day. I don't know what it is. It's the wind. Are, now, are you in LA? Um, no, we're in Miami. Our kids go to school in Miami, all of them. Oh, nice. How's the weather there? We live down here. Mark lives down here. So we're all oh, down nice. here now. I wanted to ask you, is there a show that you and your family are watching together? Like, family um, yeah, we're actually not with the kids, but we're watching Ozark right now. Oh. The third season. Amazing. That's a good show. Love. That's creepy. Love, love, love. Um, what else? Uh, what are we watching? Documentaries, things like that. Together, yeah. the kids, I've been watching musicals with them. I've been showing them like Gigi and Funny Girl, and we watch The League of Their Own, you know. Oh, I'd like to show them, and they're like, are we watching another movie from the 80s or 90s? <laughs> like, <laughs> we watched okay, Mrs. You Doubtfire pick. the other day. Yes. Did you like Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah. No, they love them. They love them, right? Well, I think we they only love show them the good we ones. We love it, right? Yes. Don't you think yes. that they're enjoying like what their parents enjoyed? But I would love to see you in a musical. Will you do a musical? Oh, yeah, I would love to. That would be so much fun. 
I mean, so actually, I have a movie coming out called Marry Me, and I did a whole album for it. It'll be out later this year. Again, like everything's up in the air with release dates and everything right now. But I did a, a, an album. I did eight new songs. Maluma does two new songs on there. Um, and it's called Marry Me. It's a romantic kind of comedy with music, musical drama. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> but it's going to be awesome, I think. Uh, the songs are Great. Don't you think people are going to want to see musicals and funny yes. stuff? And please, let's I know, I, know oh. I am. That's what yeah. I'm be looking for. I don't want to see anything about gloom and doom after this. That's all, no. I, want. all I want is romantic comedies and musicals. <laughs> we, we have to find something to really fun to like lift people up. Yes. Yes. Well, you I look know great. Oh, thanks. Friend. Are you getting like, are you, what is your life like over there? Are you getting rest? Okay, so you're cooking, but what well, else is happening? I actually, I got up early and exercised and showered so that I would look good for this interview. And I'm going to interview a couple <laughs> more people. I even put my hoops on for you. Yes. Um, but yeah, we're cooking. I've got my daughter's home from college. My son's home from high nice. school, not going to high school. And then my seven-year-old is, and they're on spring break. And I'm like, what, what exactly is spring break? Can you explain that to me? <laughs> what is spring break? Is it, I mean, we've been doing spring break for three weeks. What's happening? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mines are on spring break too. On Tuesday they start, so now they won't even have that to keep them busy. Right. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> You're like, no. now they're already saying how bored they are, and I'm like, okay, well, let's play a board game. Yeah. Get the love. Let's. Like, we've been hitting. We've been hitting and playing like wiffle ball back here. <laughs> Are you doing like dance classes? Are you doing any of those fun online dance classes? I haven't done anything like that yet. You know, my big struggle is how to work out because we don't have a gym here at the house, which is, was a huge oversight now I realize. <laughs> and so, you know, it's about like where I can go running where it's not like really populated or going to a private gym that's closed um that Alex you know had made when he was doing baseball that you know is not used and you know just trying to find places to 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 do my workout because I really it really keeps my mind right you know it really makes me calm and right. quells all of the kind of the the thoughts that you're having it just keeps you happy and and that's important right now the fitness part of it I agree it's important to get the kids moving too yes I'm yes. doing all these fun but that's a all these amazing Maybe I choreographers should do heavy are doing online classes. I've been doing this one with um, a choreographer, Ryan Heffington. And nice. I know he's so fun. And he was actually, this is a fun fact. He was one of the dancers in the Bend and Snap on Legally Blonde. So oh, now yeah. oh my God, we watched Legally Blonde the other day. <laughs> Literally like four days ago. No, you Oh didn't. my God, I forgot. I can't believe I didn't tell you. You're they the loved it. Loved it. It was so, so much glad. fun. You are so amazing in that. It's so great. And then my, my daughter's like, I want to know what happens to her. I said, there's a two and a three, I believe. Well, no, there's a two, <laughs> but I'm thinking we might be working on a three. You should. You should. That character was so amazing. It's so empowering and inspiring. Yeah, it's great for Thank girls. You. Great for Thank girls. You. I know. We got we to gotta put good... Messages. I know you have other people you have to talk to. Yes. I should, I should let you go, but I'm enjoying okay, myself well, too much. You guys, this is about Quibi and Jennifer. Thank you so much for taking the time to tell us about Thanks a Million. I'm going to watch every episode. Yes, and Fierce Queens. Thanks a Million. You guys should check it out on Quibi. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Honey, I love you, baby. Day. Bye. You too. Well. Bye.